the most picturesque street. You might need to be quiet. There is a massive turtle. Come and find one of these glorious beaches. Are you coming? I'm liking cash. Liking cash. We're Marion and Chris, and we've been traveling full time since May 2018. We must be insane. Whilst attempting to drive around the world in Trudy, our home on wheels, this happened. All British travellers abroad are advised, advised uh, to return now. As borders closed around us, we decided to wait it out in Turkey until we were able to continue our adventure east. Welcome to Turkey! We've arrived in the picturesque seaside town of Kash here in Turkey's Antalya region. Kash is located 106 kilometers south of Fethiye and 189 kilometers from Antalya. It has a Mediterranean climate with warm wet winters and dry hot summers. And Kash is one of the best dive destinations here in Turkey. And looking how blue and clear that water is, you know why. And because it is so far to the airports, either Dalaman or Antalya, it is a lot quieter than the other towns along Turkey's turquoise coast. So this morning we have driven down into the town of Kash, which is only probably five minutes drive from the villa that we're staying in. And today, we're going to go and have a little walk around this wonderful, cool seaside town. So we're just walking, literally just started walking from the van and we can see this sign here saying tomb and there's some steps here. So we thought we'd go and have a little look. This little path's lovely, they've got all these massive cactus look at those and then we're getting a view over the town it's actually bigger than i thought it was and i can hear chickens i can hear chickens calling out over the town this morning the sky is blue it's going to be a wonderful day and the path just keeps going up i love the vegetation I didn't expect to find a footpath literally a minute's walk from where we parked the van and we've kind of come to the side of town. Prickly pears on the bush there. Um, we've got a little friend following us. It came running out of the house just at the bottom of the hill and uh, it's being very playful. It's a very fun <laughs> puppy. <laughs> So we've come to the top, we've walked up from the street below and look at this amazing looking tomb here. Oh, it's very pretty, the area. They've got these lovely little yellow flowers. There's butterflies, olive trees. What a lovely day. It's funny because we're always using the words wonderful and awesome and beautiful, but for us, this is not typical um, in Shropshire where we come from in the UK. This isn't normal for us to see such lovely olive trees and the spring is starting to come up and all the new flowers. The only flower I've recognised is primrose, um, but it's just lovely. And from up here, we've got the first view of the little harbour here in the town of Cash. There's apparently an amphitheatre, I think, this side. And then uh, we're going to walk down, have a look around the harbour. There's a few beaches in town that we want to show you. So we're going to go and have a look at this tomb. It's got to watch your step coming down here. So looking on the sign at the bottom of the hill, 
This structure is four and a half meters wide and four and a half meters tall and it was carved out of the rock you can see behind. Yeah, it wasn't made out of stones or rocks, it was actually carved out of the bedrock um, on this side of this um, hill here. One thing I've noticed about the tombs is they they have always have nice views from the tombs. Look at that. So we think the amphitheatre is this way, so rather than walking down the hill and walking round, we're going to try and cut across the top. Are you coming? I think you might be. Spring is definitely in the air because as we're walking along, you can actually hear a really loud buzz of bees. And I don't know whether you can see, but there is bees everywhere. There must be beehives nearby because I've never seen so many bees. Where's the dog? The dog's going crazy. He's burning off all that morning energy. <laughs> it's like a, a kangaroo. <laughs> It is absolutely wonderful up here. Yellow flowers, mountains and blue skies. It's a really nice walk up here, isn't it? And your wife. And of course I'm with my wife. Of course. <laughs> that goes without saying. But it's but so picturesque. I feel like I'm walking through the meadows. It's so picturesque and lovely and you can I wasn't expecting to the... see this right and we're right in town can literally. Smell the pollen as well. Can you smell the pollen? It's lovely. Amphitheatre this way, I think. Oh I can see it I can see, can see? rocks. So I'm looking at this structure that we've come across here and I'm guessing, I think, this should be the amphitheater. I'll know when we look over this wall. Oh, yeah. Yep, that is indeed the amphitheater. What a view. Mm -hmm. And here's something you don't expect to see, is a yoga class happening right in the middle of the bottom of the amphitheater. You might need to be quiet. Shh. <laughs> I've just run up the stairs. Whew we got down the road and I realized I forgot the GoPro up here and very kindly the man over there was watching it and a lady over there picked it up and was waving it at me so thank you everyone involved <laughs> that would have been a mini disaster one of the things when you're filming is sometimes you put the cameras down to get the shots and then you walk away and then you think oh I've left it there, um, but luckily we were super lucky that these guys found the camera for us. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. The amphitheatre, if you're looking for it. Thank you. Oh, we're driving to Russia. So if you're looking for the amphitheatre, it's about five minutes walk from the town. We did a shortcut over the hill. Uh, through the beautiful um, scenery up there. It's like meadows. It is, and now we're gonna head um, along the coast into the town center. So they've got this sign here, and it explains that the amphitheater is actually the oldest one in Anatolia, and it's the only one in Anatolia that faces the sea. It does say that it can seat 4,000 people. I'm not sure about that. There's no way you would get 4,000 of me sat in that amphitheater. <laughs> I think people were smaller. They must have been much smaller back in the day. And if you're looking for a parking spot, there's two motorhomes there. 
And there's the amphitheatre with views over the sea. So this is where we walk to the amphitheatre and I've just spotted through the trees that there is lots of beehives so that's why there were so many bees up there. Chris has just snuck into the undergrowth to film the beehives. There's so many pretty little flowers uh, that are popping up. The grass is really lush and green here so that rain that we had a couple of weeks ago has really helped nature. It's funny being in Turkey in springtime and seeing all the flowers blooming and uh, the remnants of the fruits on the trees in the UK, winter, everything, the leaves, the fruit, everything would have come down. But you can still see lemon trees just behind me that have still got crops from last year because the moderate temperature here um, and the climate is so moderate that things can live on the trees. It's really nice. I see why people come and live in Turkey and winter in hot countries. I've just pointed out my favourite little house in Cash to Chris. It's a beautiful little character house right opposite the sea. Uh, just small enough to be able to do your housework in 10 minutes, right next to a lemon tree and with lots of beautiful flowers. We're just walking through the town from the amphitheatre and we're remarking on how many lovely hotels there are all with this beautiful sea view. They're all like small sort of boutique -y cool looking places to stay it's got a really different sort of chilled vibe doesn't it yeah we did read up online that it had like a boho cool vibe mm, and um, it does yeah we like to visit and experience the place ourselves first and we've only been here a couple of hours but you just you just get this vibe the manager here has just spotted us filming and i was just saying how beautiful his hotel is so he's invited us to come down and see the sea view We've noticed that a lot of hotels now are closed up or uh, locked down. So the flower beds and the flower pots and things have been left to go a little bit. But here, it's remarkable. Everything. Oh, oh, I have to walk backwards just to show you this view. There's mosaics all over the walls, um, different coloured ones, different shapes. It's another example there. Just walking down these little steps and then you carry on walking down here. So that ended up being an absolutely yes. wonderful pit stop. We went down, we checked out the hotel because it just looked so cool. I would definitely recommend that hotel. It's somewhere I would stay. You don't have to walk far in cash to come across some more um, evidence of a wonderful history. And uh, this ruin here is actually an old temple that dates back to 1 BC. Chris was laughing at me because I said to us where they are but look at the work that would have gone into squaring off all these corners how much work and elbow grease would it have That's taken? That's true rather than a, a brick wall like a normal rock wall. Yes clay bricks that have been formed these would have been carved, hacked, sawn ah, out of. Hello. Oh, hello. Meow. As always the cats come and say hello here in Turkey can't we keep one? <laughs> can't we keep a cat? Do you want to come in the van? Want to keep Actually, in the I cat? think he would. One of the other activities that you can do here in Cash is go paragliding. There's one now coming off the top of the mountain behind me. And if you're looking for the market, every Friday there is a market here in Cash that you can see behind us, which is located between the town and the yacht marina. We're in the harbour and there are lots and lots of fishing boats, so the fishing industry here must be really big. We 
were talking to some of the local guys about the dive boats and they were saying that most of them have actually come into dry dock now because it's not a diving season so they're all in and you can see them all up on the sides being repaired and having some work done ready for when the season opens finding out about the diving in the area we're seeing why it is probably one of the most special places in turkey uh, we're just finding out that it's a marine protected area there is a massive turtle that is just underneath us just down there look at that it's a loggerhead turtle and it's a boy look at him he's massive i've got a little cat here and it's very interested in what's going on over there and you probably can't see it but there's fish so we we've just been watching all the fish together walking down onto the uh, the harbour wall here looking back you get a wonderful view of the main town stunning one of the popular day trips from Cash is to the island of Mies. I think that's how you pronounce it, that you can see behind me. It's so close, but believe it or not, that island is actually Greece. So you'll be going across an international border, so make sure you take your passport. The, uh, the boats aren't actually running at the moment, but uh, apparently it's a very beautiful day trip to go on. Just walking along the wall here and seeing all these boats that are dry docked and just seeing all the skill that's involved in taking them all back, sanding them all back and getting them ready to go out on the water next season. I was going to say there's loads of work going on and what we love is the fact they're just balanced on these sticks. The, the whole way along they're just on sticks and it's just amazing that the weight of the boat can be supported like that. So we're walking along to the lighthouse at the end here it's a lovely walk, you've got the sea on both sides. Lunch time. In fact it's quite late, it's about half past two. And we've just found this restaurant that sells pide, kebabs, ekli ekmet. Oh, it's closed? Somewhere on the corner. Oh, there. So although the restaurants are still closed, we can get takeout. What they got? Um, can we have big pani? Pani? Mm -hmm. Tamar? Meat and cheese. Pani. Yeah. And do you want one lamachan? One lamachan, one meat and cheese. Yes, please. 10 minutes, yeah? 10 minutes, no problem. We just wait. No problem. Just you go so we've got our takeout, we've come down to the park to eat because I'm absolutely starving. Let's see what we got. Sauces, are we going to share? It depends, if it's delicious then no. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. This oh. is uh, la machan, which is like a really thin, almost like a pizza dough with some, uh, I don't know what's on it, meat? Yeah, it's meat. Flavoured meat and... Uh, some dips here look look at that something to dip it into spicy and creamy are you eating before i turn the camera on <laughs> it's nice mm. huh it's so lovely when they're cooked fresh they're hot and steamy and meaty and herby and flavoursome and oh actually there's a kick of chili in there. oh lovely lovely i think that one looks a little bit spicy mm. i'm gonna roll it up and then uh, dip it in the chili there Oh. Mm. We might have to go back. That is delicious. This sauce is really spicy, garlicky, oniony, herby. Is it like Esme but with heat? Mm. And this one's creamy and yogurty and minty. Beautiful. Which is really nice to take the heat out. Guess what we've got? Look, open yeah. it. Pide. <laughs> We're turning into P-Day monsters. Literally. P-Day has almost overtaken the Goslami fetish that we've got. It's really good. So we've just found this uh, 
cargo shop and uh, Ursul in Istanbul, um, uh, Aunt Julia in Canada, she sent um, a homemade calendar to Ursul, one for him, one for us in Istanbul and he's actually couriered it down uh, to cash to this office so we're thinking the uh, the calendar should be here. Ah, super! There's a lovely feel walking around Cash. Um, although during COVID times with the restaurants closed and we're out of season, it would be so lovely. I can just imagine it in the summer with all the people outside eating, the hustle and bustle, the water fountain behind me spraying. And uh, this is where we just had lunch, sat in this sort of mini amphitheater style square here. Um, but a, a lovely feel walking around the town. I'm liking cash. Liking cash. They've got some very trendy, cool, uh, boutique-y type shops here. And I was very lucky to go shopping in Ephesus because we try not to buy any stuff because obviously the, the size of the cupboards in Trudy. Um, but I bought a really nice white flowery shirt and a green flowery shirt in Ephesus and I decided to treat myself to a blue one. Uh, so thank you lovely shopping cash that has lovely clothing. There are lots of tour companies. You can go coasteering, sea kayaking, you can go diving. So many things to see in this area. No wonder it's a mecca for tourists and why so many expats and tourists end up coming back here time after time and some of them even move here. So we found an, a sarcophagus here known as the King's Tomb. Look at that. I think that's the biggest one we've seen. That is seriously high. So the Lycian tomb here dates back to the 4th century. That's pretty old. They've got all this ancient writing here on the side of the tomb. I wonder what it says. All the cats hanging around. They know where the tourists are going to come, don't they? I think this cat is definitely getting a bit of cat love. And it's purring. Look how happy you are. Are you happy? And right next to the king's tomb, I think we have possibly found the most picturesque street here in Cash. It is stunning. So we're going to go and have a little walk down there. So the very picturesque street sometimes is locally known as the slippery street <laughs> because the stones, the floor is very slippery so if you do walk down there be careful not to slip. Walking down all these little side cobbled roads are actually so picturesque, perfect for those little Instagram photos that you're looking for. Although Cash is quite a small town, it's lovely just to walk around these little cobbled side streets. Look at the flowers, lemon trees, oh, wow. these lovely blue doors. Oh. Wow, look at that. There are so many little quaint turnings and little cobbled streets. <coughs> oh, and steps. <laughs> That's and blooper. steps, That's a blooper. You can imagine this in the summer with all the flowers out, everything open, cocktail bar here. 
It does have a very cool feel about it, doesn't it? It's lovely. Is this the smallest bar in Turkey? The old house shot bar. Shot bar. Mm -hmm. And there you go, that's where they serve from. I, I love it. That. So we're just wandering around town and another thing Cash is renowned for obviously is the blue blue waters but the beaches and there is a beach in town that we've heard about that is super super small and it, I think it's just down here. It's tiny, it's so small. Do you want to break? No. Is it cold? <laughs> Shocking. Yeah, it's cold. She says it's cold. Yeah, there is a spring here. Yeah. It's a cold spring. Okay. It's colder than uh, other places. Ah. But it doesn't stop us to. It's jump. a beautiful yeah. beach. Mm. You're going to put your feet in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're going to get wet trousers. And cold. And cold. How cold is it? <laughs> is it? And when you come to Cash, one of the things you have to do is come and find one of these glorious beaches. And about 15 minutes from town is another beach over there that we're heading to now. That is the other beach. Look at that. Uh, gets very busy in the summer, but you can come and hire deck chairs. It's not very expensive. Beautiful blue water. The sun is shining even though it's February and uh, only a couple of people down there. Between Kalkan and Kash, there is the famous Kapitash beach. It's only about 18 kilometers from Kash, so it serves as a beautiful beach if you're looking for a day out from Kash. In the height of season, you won't find a spot on this beach. It is so popular, but right now in February, it's lovely and quiet. Walking around Cash, it's actually starting to get dark now. That's how much fun we've had today. <laughs> but there are, there's lots of restaurants and uh, this one here is very cool. It's got a boat which is actually a table. Uh, you can sit on that boat. Walking around town, it's actually making me hungry and it's, I can't wait for the restaurants to open again because you've got all these wonderful, look at all this seafood and food that is on sale here. Won't be long. No, I think there's not, talk that yeah. they're planning to start opening the restaurants again in March. It has a Mediterranean climate, warm, wet winters. <laughs> the dog's going nuts. The dog's going nuts. What are you doing, you crazy dog? You're putting me off. You're running around like a lunatic. Cash is located... How many miles? 169, didn't you say? It has a lovely, hot, dry summer and a cool... Can't remember.